Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and this is Sahifa, December 12th. And I have a very special guest with me, the president of the Arab Mothers Association. Let me just take a moment and ask Huda to introduce herself and talk about the grades of your children. Uh, I'm Huda Al-Mansouri, uh, Arab Mother Association president. Uh, I have uh, two boys, uh, grade six, Abdul Aziz, and uh, grade three, Abdul Rahman. We are standing in front of something new for us this year during International Week, and it is the tent that the Arabic mothers provided so that our students could experience Arabic culture. Who to tell us a bit about the tent? Uh, the idea of the tent come because it, it's the symbol of the life uh, in Qatar before uh, 60 years or 70 years and it's until now still we have it in our houses and uh, during uh, this beautiful weather we put it on the desert to, to go on the weekend and stay uh, so we thought that this is uh, this symbol we can we should put it in the school uh, during the international week because it's the symbol of culture of Qatar and uh, from here come the idea and with the group of uh, wonderful mothers that I have uh, working with me uh, put the ideas together and we had we just start in September so it's short time to organize everything but alhamdulillah we did it <laughs> and uh, hopefully uh, next year will be more and uh, more organized and you will see much much better things so um, our students from all four divisions are able to come in the tent and experience different displays. Let's talk a bit about the displays. I know a favorite one is the falcon. Yeah. Uh, the falcons, um, we tried to bring a professional uh, falcons from Qatar, but we couldn't because of the national day, they are busy with it. But as my children has their own falcons at home, so and I uh, promise all that kids and the schools that there will be falcons in the tent uh, therefore we brought our falcons uh, and uh, the children was so excited about it and uh, even they are not uh, they, they weren't uh, frustrated to hold it in their hands and uh, we helped them to do it uh, with the falcons in the tent we had also the uh, artwork from the special Qatari artist uh, and uh, Thank you for Qatar, for uh, the uh, art center that they provide for us, uh, this beautiful uh, art pieces. Uh, plus we had uh, from, uh, also we have the art uh, handicraft uh, women that came. We had two different crafts and activities every day for four days, uh, making a woven basket, woven basket and uh, uh, the bisht, the the dress of the men that they're wearing during weddings or big celebrations, and uh, other different uh, activities. So falconry, um, basketry, handicrafts, and the beautiful art of the region. And in addition, today we've got um, the treat of being able to have Palestinian dancers who are performing on stage by our 25th anniversary founders sculpture. So that really what we're seeing is that as our students um, have their International Day lunch provided by PTA, which is so incredible, with food from all of our different countries, then um, our students as they walk across campus are able to come in the Arabic tent and um, sit and listen to the, the Palestinian dancers. What the audience needs to know is that this is new this year. We've never had an Arabic tent, we've never had dancers, and that this idea came forth from parent groups um, and is really here to be able to enrich the lives of all of our students to learn more about the culture as a result of our parents saying, we'll put forth the effort, we'll do the work, we'll find these resources and bring them to the school. We thank you. And this, is, this was the goal of the Arab Mother Association, to build the bridge between all the culture in the school and focus more about the Qataric and the Arabic culture in the school. And hopefully we will uh, we'll do it. And I want to thank all the wonderful mothers that helps me to do these events. Without them, I can't do anything. Thank you. Yeah. And we thank you, we thank all of the Arabic Mothers Association. And that bridge between the cultures is indeed what it's all about. That's in our mission vision strategy four. Thank you so much. And that's Sahifa this week.